Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. Yes, I'm finally back. My voice is back. Somewhat anyway. You can probably hear it's still a little bit weird. Um, I had a bad cold, I had a sore throat and I could barely talk for a while, which is a bit of an impediment to making um, commentary for Let's Play, obviously. Hence um, the unexpected hiatus. But it's been a while and I really wanted to get back into recording, so I decided I would do this today, despite my voice not being fully restored. However, I might stick to somewhat shorter episodes for the time being, um, to give my voice a chance to regenerate. Um, it's probably going to be a few more days until it's uh, back to normal, so um, thank you for your patience in my um, absence. But yeah, let's get back into this. If I remember correctly, um, in the last episode I won the Gwen Tournament and that's why I'm here at the estate because I had to put my trophy onto my shelf and there isn't really that much um, else for me to do. I still have one more contract and I want to get this done before I um, continue with the main quest so um, maybe to refresh our memories let's read the description any semblance of false modesty aside, I can comfortably contend that my songs of Geralt's deeds are now in the world over. The Duchy of Toussaint is no exception. There my ballads, praising our witches so oft demonstrated valour and honour, remain popular to the extreme. So much so that on one occasion it was chiefly thanks to my works that Geralt was offered a contract. A young noble lady who had learned of the witch solely from my thoroughly accurate descriptions <laughs> picked him out of a crowd and promptly begged him for aid. She was concerned for her fiancé, François, who had set out not long past to slay a monster in honor of his betrothed. The monster was known as Grottore, and the lady's beloved had not yet returned. The lady tasked the witcher with learning what had become of the young knight. So basically we need to find another uh, knight in distress and uh, see what trouble he has gotten himself into. So let me head over to um, wherever this is going to take place. It's over here and we'll see what we have to do there. Alright, this should be the place. Ah, that's him. Well, um, he still seems to be alive. <coughs> oh, oh. You scared me half to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Uh, well, you can just call me Geralt. Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. I'm a witcher. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... For... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. By napping outside the cave for a fortnight. <laughs> I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Um, well, maybe I should help you. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I, I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, uh, I suppose you're right. <sighs> we must fight side by side, then. For honor! All right, for honor. Um, so, where exactly do I have to go? Help Francois defeat Grottori. Let's do this. Side by side. Oh, I see, there's a cave. Well, um, obviously I'm a bit out of practice. But I should be the one to knock off its head. We gotta kill it first. <laughs> it's 
So hmm. let's see what Strange. awaits us here. No sign of Kratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Yeah, it's usually not that easy. Find Vatori using your witch's senses. Okay. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Alright, so we have some plants in here. Bones. Small skull. Fontanelle's not completely closed. An infant. About a year, maybe. Hmm. They speak the truth about the villages. Kutoro consumes flames. Okay. Various sundries, some tools. Kutori must have taken them from its victims. Ah, uh, what is that? Cradle filled with children's shoes. Doubt I've ever seen a collection this grotesque. What is that noise that I'm hearing? Oh! Well, um... That's not normal. Something on the other side. Can hope to get through. Neither sword nor sign will cut this. Okay. Well, day now. It's rigging. Gotta be. Seems to be off somewhere. Probably feeding. Need to lure it. All right, read the best year entry about Quartori. Um, right, let's do this. What exactly are you anyway? Ah, there we go. Happened like this, a nasty rain caught me while I was out in the woods, so I thought to myself, I'll hide in some hollow, for God f God's forbid, I get soaked through and catch a cold at my age. So I crawled into a cave, and there inside something roars at me. Tore out of there so fast, wind had dried my coat by the time I got home. Valisdale Herbalist. No one knows exactly when the Spriggan called Quatori first made its home in the caves at the foot of Mount Gorgon. Spriggans usually prefer isolated backwoods and rarely make dens and caverns. Yet Grottori seemed to have taken a liking to grottos, giving rise to its nickname. Okay, that makes sense. The monster was quite well known among Beauclair knights who often talked of it as a potential source of great glory. None were particularly eager to actually engage the monster in combat, however. None, that is, except for the young knight Francois. Okay, Dimeridium Bomb, Relict Oil and Igni. Um, I think I can work with that. So, um... Dimeridium. And some Relict Oil. How does my repair status look like, by the way? Oh! Suppose I can drop another one on it. Alright, so I read the bestiary. Lure out Quartori by setting fire to the plants using the Igni sign. Oh, okay. Well, um, I guess I can do that. Um, that's not the Igni. Like I said, I'm out of practice. So. And now I set myself on fire. Um... So far it's not... coming. Maybe I have to... put them all on fire. There we go. Oh! Um... It looks like a lesion. Except uglier. Alright. Let's do this. Um yeah, probably Oh, it actually fights like a lesion too. Ah, for so maybe you should just stay in the back for a while. Oh, and it summoned the few arcade force. 
Uh, that's not good at all. I guess I'm just going to focus on Rotori though. Alright. Rotori is dead, now we need to do the Arceus for this place. Oh, they actually die on their own. Alright, well. Oh, that is done. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. You are welcome. But yeah, maybe you should have just chosen a less fearsome beast. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? <laughs> Why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. <laughs> so I bowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time. To battle such a beast, why, it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you are going. So you don't actually want to marry her? Well, then just tell her so. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, time to head back to Beauclair. High time you return to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. <laughs> The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another more terrible beast. Well, uh, good luck with that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I take the trophy then, if you don't want it. Mm, must have really cold feet. Frozen. Ah. Uh. I can't say I see it happening, your success. But do what you will, and good luck. My thanks, Master. The fight at your side was an honor. Huh. Okay, well, um, so this is done. I'm going to pick up this stuff too before I leave. And yeah, that's pretty much all that's left in my quest journal. Well, I have to uh, talk to the lady. So, uh, let me head back to Beauclair and take care of that. Alright, that should be her. Good news, you're betrothed. Is my betrothed no more? What? He was just here, just departed, having made a new vow, this time to fetch me a striped horse from Zeracania. Well, at least he chose something he stands to accomplish <laughs> on his own. Quite the trek, though. Precisely. I told him I require no more proof. Let us make haste to the temple. He began hemming and whoring, babbling about honor and whatnot. <laughs> Tell me, Master Witcher, are all men swine? Uh, why do you ask me? But I would say no. Not all. A few exceptions out there. Oh, perhaps in your distant Rivia. <laughs> but what care have you for my heart's woes? Your reward, as I felt. And advice. Should you ever find yourself a lady witcher, be truthful with her to save the world some grief. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry that um, apparently you could show was not really interested in marrying you after all. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much all of uh, the side quests. So I think this would be a good time to um, make another sweep of the map to see if I missed anything important. 
Um, I will do most of that off camera. The good thing is I don't actually have to talk during that, so I can uh, rest my voice a little bit. But I will include everything that um, you know I come across that is interesting or new, or if I find any more quests, I will include them, of course. And there's one tiny thing I still want to do, although it's actually back in Novigrad and not uh, in Toussaint. But yeah, I will go and um, check out the entire map again. And I will bring you back whenever I find something I interesting. He slimmed, he slimmed crooked. So I'm currently here at the cemetery and I have been uh, reading all the inscriptions on the gravestones. Some of them are uh, quite interesting. Um, this one in particular. Christoph Cho traveled from Thedas to the continent, found it so much to his liking, he stayed until he died. Well, who would have thought that? A Dragon Age reference in The Witcher. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Alright, I'm now back at the brothel at the harbor because someone in the comments suggested that I should talk to the other um, prostitutes. So let's do that. Is this one I can talk to? Oh, yes. You're pretty. Get paid to say that. I get paid to plow. Compliments I give only when the urge strikes me. So, willing to show me if your birthday suit is equally becoming? <laughs> You're pretty direct. Well, she's a prostitute. What do you expect, Garrett? Don't beat around the bush, do you? I dislike pretending to be someone I am not. All the sighs, fainting, fluttering eyelashes, it's just not me. I operate on the assumption that if a man seeks coyness, he does not <laughs> go to a brothel. Right about that. Definitely had something else in mind. Then come and show me. Actually, I'm just here to talk, sorry. <laughs> Be back later. Hold you to that. The most fun you can have with your clothes on. Know how to whistle? Just put your lips so, together. So, what about you? And blow. Oh boy, another one. What's that? Another what? Did Madame Isabel mention role-playing costs extra? If you wish to play <laughs> a witcher, then... Misunderstanding, I'm afraid. I am a witcher. Of course. The eyes. I should have noticed. Forgive me, master. Come into my alcove, and I shall more than make up for my error there. Uh, does this happen often? A role-playing witcher? The, uh, playing it being a witcher thing. What's that about? Ah, it's the latest rage. A trick will come, dressed in a studded jacket, two swords on his back, and ask me to play a succubus or a silent. Then he'll say he has a contract, <laughs> but his codex says he cannot harm a thinking being. So perhaps we can make a deal. Once it's over, he demands some kind of cart. I've no notion how it started. <laughs> they probably took the idea from one of those silly ballads. Mm -hmm. Got a strong suspicion mm -hmm. who the author might be. Yeah, the cards. The silly uh, sex cards from the first game. I remember them. I remember them. But yeah, I, I'm not looking for a card at the moment. Sorry, gotta go. However, um, I can't help but notice Just that you have... Get there. The and painting um, of Garrett slaying the griffin behind you. Apparently, our painter made some copies and sold them to the brother. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I already talked to her. I'm not sure if there are any other I can talk to upstairs. Have you at least diddled her others? Uh, let's, I've just about let's have a look. Are we on the ducal guard? Would you squeeze my Well, cluster? no, apparently the only ones I can talk to are downstairs. All right, fair enough. Ooh. But yeah, that <laughs> was a funny reference. All right, um, <sighs> let's leave again and I Any will continue Not my exploration. I need good little 
Alright, I just spent almost four hours running up and down the map of Toussaint, uh, checking out every building and uh, revisiting all the places again. And I didn't really find, well, I wouldn't say nothing, I found a bunch of unlooted loot. I talked to a few people that um, had new dialogue, you know, people I did contracts for earlier. But overall, it wasn't really anything uh, too noteworthy. So, I think uh, we can wrap this up and uh, continue with the main story. Um, I just made a quick trip back to Novigrad to enchant my new swords. But other than that, I think um, there isn't really anything else for me to do. So, let's um, continue with the main quest and presumably we can just... Uh, follow through the main story now until the end of the game. So I have to meet Damien at the mill. Um, the mill is actually the only place that I um, have not visited again on my um, sweep through the map because um, I wanted to stay clear of the main story. But yeah, everything else should be done. If I missed anything, it's not for lack of trying. I think I was pretty thorough but um, I couldn't find any new quests or whatever. So I think I found them all, I hope. But yeah, let's go and um, uh, talk to Damien. I think I'm just going to use the fast travel over here. And then we need to um, capture the castle of that one. Oh, warning. You are nearing a turning point in the story. After this, you will no longer be able to finish certain side quests. Save your game before continuing. Well, I have no more side quests and I actually just saved, so um, I think I don't need to. So, yeah, let's go and <coughs> look for Damien. Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Captain de la Tour will give you the details. And here I thought I was supposed to go in there alone. Apparently not. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? Um, yeah. Do we got a plan? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Right. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk, but I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. Ah, uh, I've seen worse. All right, so we have a plan and it's uh, pretty straightforward. Let's do this. Begins. Quick, so it begins. We grabbed Roderick's horses and we boat. We 
won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, we have a bunch of guards. I hope this won't be much of a problem. That guy is dead already. Oh, well, you hit pretty hard, though. Pathetic. But nothing that a well-placed card can't help against. Oh, there's an annoying range guy. I'm going to kill you first. Just because you're annoying. There we go. And you are there too. And you seem to be the last guy. There we go. Roderick sent them to get the horses. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. Okay. Search Dunton for Sienna and Rena. Right. Um, can I actually... No, I can't save my game here. Uh, let me have a quick look around. Mm, but other than some loot, I don't think there's anything of interest here. Alright, let's continue. I see no ducals along the road. Mm, they must not be guarding it. Roderick was right. We can flee. We'll manage. Um. Maybe I'm just going to ignore those guys. Faster! Load those crates on the wagon. All right. Hurry with those crates. But Someone be careful. The if you drop ball. any, come on, kill him. And we have more guards. All right. Surround him. Surround Careful here. Kill. And we again no have some mercy. annoying range guys. Um, Go on, let's see if I can find that guy. I there we go. You, you again, you're going to die first. And. And now the rest of you. Shit. Oh, this is actually Roderick. I see. And let me take care of the shield guy. And I think you are dead too. Alright. Mercy! Mercy! I... I did no wrong! Nah, kept the wrong damn company. Centrian's men, where are they? Uh, I... knew... shouldn't have let them under my roof. Um, okay, well, but I'm actually looking for the hostage, most of all. Where's the hostage? The woman? Wh what? What do you mean? I... Know nothing about a hostage. Hmm. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. Okay, well, um, and where are your guests? Where are they now? In, in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them. Woman named Siana. Of, of course. She, she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together, and... Old fool! I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? I, yes. Her chamber is... in the tower. The top floor. What? Okay, well... What will become of me? Um, uh, yeah, I suppose I'm going to help you. I'm not a monster. Hmm. Here, 
Press it against the wound. Should staunch the bleeding. I... I thank you. Alright, here we go. Defeat the guards and reach Dantine's keep. Okay, but before I do this, um, let me make a cut here. Um, this episode may be a bit shorter than usual, I know. But um, I have been playing for like four hours already and my voice is still not quite uh, alright. I hope I can go back to make, you know, longer episodes again tomorrow or in the next few days. But for now, let's call it a day and we will continue this hopefully tomorrow. So as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.